When Edward was getting ready to choreograph Age of Innocence on the Joffrey Ballet, um, he'd been traveling a lot, reading a lot, keeping himself busy, and he had been reading a lot of Jane Austen novels. And he was really inspired by this idea of a woman's place in society at that time and her struggles and her really lack of education, lack of um, any voice at all. And so Age of Innocence is sort of a, a look at the different relationships women have with the opposite sex and the fact that they only ever get to see men at a dance, at a social gathering, that, that sort of situation, and, uh, and how they're thrown into these arranged marriages, and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. One of the best things about Age of Innocence is that everybody's, everybody dances in it, you see everybody. There, sure, there are more featured roles, but I see every single person move every part of their body, even when they're standing in a straight line. I see the people who are upstage the most just as much as you see the downstage people. So it's really important that everybody understands his quality of movement. And because they've done other works of his, I think they do. I, I do notice the few new dancers that are still trying to understand this movement. I see the difference between the ones that have done his work and haven't, but I think they're all acclimating very well and I, um, I think Marcello hires people because they're good movers and it, it shows when they, are, when they take movement like this and really chew it up. Mm -hmm. The very opening is sort of takes place at one of these dances or gatherings or you know a ball perhaps and um, and he was also inspired by kind of if you go into one of these rooms into one of these balls now you know what kind of stories do you feel when you're in that room you know like if these walls could talk what would they be saying and um, it's almost the music sort of captures that sort of almost haunting feeling of almost like these people aren't real like you're looking back in time and seeing what what happened in this ballroom the music is um, composed by Philip Glass and I think it uh, you know it's just it's really beautiful it's really putting, uh, you know, today's music <laughs> with with um, something from you know early 19th century, but it it works because it's really I, I think it's more us today looking back at this time. Um, it's not necessarily a picture of that era. It's kind of thinking how it would have been in that era. Edward has really created his own style and I think it's for him very important to have very strong ballet technique but people that can move and not all companies can do that there's really I mean it's it's a struggle to find it still and it's getting more you know necessary for dancers to not just be ballerinas but to be able to do contemporary on point